Hey, it's Jacob, and what you're about to watch is the pilot episode of Video Game Trivia. It is a live video game trivia show that I did on Twitch this past weekend during my Extra Life stream, where we raised over $500 US for Children's Health Foundation. Now, just note, it is the first time I did it. We did it live. There were some technical challenges, uh, including at the 43 minute mark, the stream crashed completely. So you'll see that around the 43 minute mark, uh, I'm going to stitch two parts of the stream together. Um, but it was a lot of fun. Travis and Katie were great. Uh, the format was great. I'm going to keep doing it with some adjustments. Uh, so tell me what you liked in the comments. Otherwise, uh, stick around for the pilot of video game trivia. Bye. Okay. So I've had this idea for a very long time. Um, I love game shows and Something I've, I've barely seen on the internet is people doing pub trivia, but for video games. So uh, what I put together today is what I'm calling VGT. This is video game trivia. Uh, I've never done this before. We're doing it live. So I hope it works, but I can't guarantee that it'll work for anyone who's watching come along with us for the ride. Um, but I'm going to be hosting. It's going to be a competition between Katie and Travis. Katie, Travis, why don't y'all introduce yourselves? Because this is a bit of a reset, I guess. So why don't we just uh, introduce yourselves, tell us what you do on the internet, and then tell us if you think you're going to win this game. Oh, Go ahead, Katie. Oh, fine, I'll go. Um, hi, I'm Katie Lesbrantz. I have, uh, I don't know, I do podcasting occasionally. No, I think you're uh, a full-blown Travis. podcaster now. <laughs> I, I suppose, sure. Um, anyway, I have, we co-host, three of us co-host a podcast called Cutscenes, and I'm excited to do some trivia. It might be a disaster. We might just be like, I don't know, I don't know, the both of us, but I'm excited. I like trivia. Travis. And Travis. Um, so yeah, I'm Travis Colnett. I am, yeah, one of the co-hosts of Cutscenes. Um, so we do that. Um, me and Katie have also both done a bunch of episodes of the Left Behind Game Club, um, which is great. And then, um, yeah, otherwise, like, I didn't even know we were competing. I didn't realize I was against Katie. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. You're, so, you're super bring competing. It. Oh, okay. Bring gotcha. It, dude. All right, okay. Oh, already. All right. Here we go. Shoes are coming off. Oh, <laughs> Okay, so I've got the scoreboard up on the top here. I'm going to put it centered because I am a crazy person. Um, and then I am going to... Sounds like everyone had a great time. Yes, we did, Link. Thank you for, for coming by again. Um, okay, so let me explain the rules to you. Center, horizontal. Cool. Uh, so this is video game trivia, which is a thing that I, I came up with. Uh, where's my... Oh, my God. I need to set myself up better for this next time. Um... This is the video game trivia show uh, hosted by me. Uh, it is six rounds of competition. Uh, and the way that you answer the question is that you say your name. So let's just do a little practice run. Katie, go ahead, practice. Katie? Yep, that's how you buzz in. And then Travis? Oh. Travis. Yes, that's exactly it. So whoever I hear first, go I will go throw fast, to them. Katie. Um, just know that uh, in most cases, you will not get multiple chances to answer the question unless I let you know that. Uh, point values will increase as the game goes on. Uh, we start the first category has one, then we go to two, and then in the final round, it gets a little crazy. So uh, we are doing this for fun. It is the first time we're trying this out. Uh, we will count points at the end of every round. And so the first round that I, I want to run y'all through is a round that I'm calling the speed round. And in the speed round, I'm going to give you seven questions from the world of video games. They are not connected. And if you answer them correctly, you get one point. Okay. Huh. Are we buzzing in with our name? You are buzzing in with your name. So again, let us, let us so just, I just practice. Say my name. You just Why say do your I name. have a pen and paper? Uh, so <laughs> that's a good point. What I told you guys before we started this is you need a pen and paper and yourselves. So there will be rounds where I'm going to ask you to write something down. Okay. Gotcha. So not okay. this round. This is not. This is not <laughs> okay. the round. This is strictly uh, a uh, whoever buzzes in first. Okay. Okay. Are we yeah. ready for the first question? Yes. Okay. I think so. All right. Question number one. What is the name of the book that Sly Cooper is chasing in his first PlayStation Two outing? 
I don't know, Jacob. I don't know. And chat, just so you know, Travis and Katie are not watching this. So if you want to answer it in the chat and have fun answering, please do oh. that. Take the point from us. I was uh, watching, but I will hide that chat. Yeah, hide that. <laughs> hide that chat. Uh, so let me a- give you the question one more time. What is the name of the book that Sly Cooper is chasing in his first PlayStation 2 outing? I don't know. I never played a Sly Cooper. Sly Cooper. Hi, um, I'm going to say... Travis. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. The Raccoon Bible. Does that sound <laughs> remotely right? Katie. <laughs> Crime and punishment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Travis, you were actually close. Um, the oh, correct yeah, answer the... is the Phoebeus Raccoonus. Oh, I kind of had a feeling there had to have been like, he's a raccoon and I figured there's got to be something, but you're actually very close. Oh yeah. That was pure guesswork. (laughs) Uh, Link says Sly Cooper and the raccoon Bible. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Question number two. Before Sly Cooper and the Thievius raccoon is sucker punch made an N64 game. Name it. This is embarrassing. Jacob. Um, these are tough questions so these are tough they are. What if, they if anyone in the jacob, chat knows jacob, go ahead jacob that's my name or, travis i'm saying my name <laughs> oh shit <laughs> travis um was it is it that uh oh fuck i don't know five four three they earthworm jim uh no <laughs> Katie oh. that's the next try that was a Sega game by I the way like I love that game if it was that I would have gotten it there was um, a there was an Earthworm Jim 3D game for the N64 developed yes, I by owned it. there was I owned there it was oh, and I looked this up today and I, I don't it. remember who de- developed it you were in a brain you like I've, went what? around and there's cows there yeah there was, oh, a yeah, there of, was always cows there was Earthworm a lot of Jim stuff and Earthworm Jim 2 uh fantastic games yeah I don't know the answer to this question. Part of me feels like it was uh, DMA who turned into Rockstar North that made Earthworm Jim 3D, but I'm going to, maybe someone in the chat will fact check me on that. Katie, do you have an answer? I do not. All right. The answer to the question is Rocket Robot on Wheels. I don't even uh, know what that is. Let's <laughs> let's try and make this <laughs> a little bit simpler this time around and give you a third question that I think you can answer, which is okay. Nintendo developed a disk drive peripheral for the N64 in Japan. What was it called? Uh, <laughs> That's a Travis question. Yeah, I know. And I you're a like Nintendo guy. Yeah, but it's it's in there. There's information in here, but I don't know. Disk drive peripheral. For the if you are in the chat and you anymore. know, go ahead and throw it in there because Travis and Katie are not looking at the chat. We're so bad. Um, <laughs> yep, Link got this it. This is my concern that we would just be a, two losers not knowing anything. <laughs> Link got it. Oh, God. Well, then I'm going to look at the oh. chat. <gasps> How dare you? No, I'm not going to. You can look at my hands. Um, I don't know. Uh, is it the uh, Virtual Boy? Dream. Travis, Virtual Boy. Uh, incorrect. Katie, do Gosh. you have a guess? Nintendo Disk Dreams uh, 98. <laughs> it's funny. Your your joke answer was actually fairly close to what the real answer what? is. It is the 64DD. <laughs> oh. You said, what did dream? you say? The Dream Drive 96? This disk dream? <laughs> uh, question four. Uh, we are something. still at zero, zero. I got point I five for that. What is the one. subtitle for Hold Mario's up. GameCube cart outing? Oh, What is the subtitle for Mario's GameCube cart outing? Travis. Yes, Travis. Was that Double Dash? That's the correct answer. <gasps> oh, yeah. That's Thank one you. point. That is one point for Travis. I'm using my pen and paper to write my point total down. I appreciate that. If you guys can keep that and let me know at the end of the round, that would be excellent. I got 10 points. You got one point. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, question five. What was the first system that Mario Kart was released on? Travis. Travis, go ahead. NES. Uh, incorrect. Oh. No way. No. Uh, mm, I was guessing. Make SNES sure you buzz in, though. 
SNES at 64. Uh, Carbon got it. Katie? Yep. I will say... You know, I'm going to go GameCube. Uh, that is incorrect. The first, Damn it. The GameCube? Mario Kart 64? I don't know. I'm not a big <laughs> Nintendo person. Uh, the correct answer is Super Nintendo. Darn it. I went so, too far back. Katie, you're not a Nintendo person. Here's another question about Nintendo. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was the name of the light gun peripheral on the Super Nintendo? Oh, 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 uh, Travis. Yep. Um, um, Zapper? The, the, yeah, it was the zapper. Incorrect. No, that's what it is. On the Super Nintendo, that is incorrect. Super Nintendo. Katie, do you have an answer? Can I try again? The. I will let you try again for no points after Katie answers. Okay, Katie. <laughs> uh, Ray Gun Labs. That is not, no. <laughs> <laughs> Travis, do you want to try? I want to try again and say like, like super scope. That is absolutely the right answer. <laughs> no no way. points. No points because for Travis. The thing is, I knew the zapper. That was that's like with Duck Hunt and stuff, and that was too old. And then I was like, wait, what's the other one in Smash Bros? Super scope. Got to be where that name came from. Uh, Katie, your sister's in the chat and said you better throw some Curse of Monkey Island questions right quick. <laughs> Bring it. Uh, Bring this it, is please. Not, this hey. is not a question about Monkey Island. Um, Hello to my sister. This is the last question of round one. Uh, two nothing, Travis. At this point, the question is: oh, yeah. No, I only, what? I only got Wait, one. No, 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 no. I that was for one. zero points. I got zero one points. zero. Oh, Let's okay. Yes, there. one point. I apologize. I apologize. Let's give you the question now. It is: What film was the super scope used in as a prop? Oh, oh, uh, 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 Katie. Yep. I'm probably wrong. The wizard. Uh, incorrect. No. Why? Hmm. Travis. Yep. <laughs> Hackers. I don't know. <laughs> uh, y'all are on the right track. It's a movie we watched on cutscenes, a video game movie podcast. It is, is it actually Super Mario is, Brothers 1993. Mario Brothers. Of course it is. And what scene? I thought that was I too obvious. That. I thought that would be too obvious. This is a movie we watched together, friends. I know. I know. Well, there was, <laughs> yeah, we discussed it at length. There was a lot of stuff in that movie. <laughs> All right. It was, yeah. It so was that, just like a fever dream. That is the end of round one. And at that point, I think we are we are one nothing, Travis. Yeah. So Let's let me go. add, let me put a point on the board for Travis here. Um. So Take what did y'all think of that first round? I need to brush up on my trivia. <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> well, we're going to be able to brush up on trivia together after this is done. But for now, we're going to go into round two, uh, okay. which is called the hit list. And in the hit list, I'll explain the rules for you. Uh, that's not right. That's the beginning of the slide deck. <laughs> I don't need like Sly Cooper again. <laughs> uh, so in the hit list, uh, it is a, uh, I will give you a category where I'm going to ask you one question with multiple possible answers. Okay. So I'm going to say, oh. for example, name colors from the rainbow. And so the first person who buzzes in okay. gets to answer one answer. So you'll say blue. Then the other person gets to also try and answer. We'll go back and forth until you both uh, miss three. And then the other person gets to guess until they either get them all or get three strikes. Okay? You got it. Got it. Okay. So in this in this second round... Um, Remember, the first person to buzz in, buzzes in, gets to answer the first time, but there are multiple possible answers, okay? Why does it keep doing that to me? Slide decks! Okay. Oh. <laughs> um, so, the first, the question that I'm going to ask you for this round is related to Pokemon. Oh, okay? yeah. Here we go. Here we Talk. go. <laughs> the mainline Pokemon series always has great starting Pokemon. What I want you to do... is name all of the what I hate fire type Pokemon Travis hey damn it Travis was first okay Travis uh, you get to answer the first one first 
I'm going to say Charmander because I know Katie will know that one. Fuck you. Charmander <laughs> is one of the correct answers. Come on, Katie. You play Pokemon Go. Oh. Katie, you get to answer next. What is one of the seven remaining uh, starting Pokemon? You play Pokemon Go. Come on, Katie. Barely. Barely. Uh, You're obsessed for a little bit. I'm. I'm. I've got my laptop here. That's why I'm. Uh, um. Who are the fire ones? Five. Oh. Four. Three. On, Katie. Uh. Two. I should let you have Charmander. I don't one. know any. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's strike one for Katie. Travis, what's your next answer? Cyndaquil. Uh, that's correct. I don't even know what that is. Uh, Katie, uh, what uh, is your next uh, answer? A starter fire. The uh, chat is getting them. I'm sure they are. <laughs> <laughs> they already have th uh, three of the other ones. Uh... No, you, you spelled it right, uh, Link. Yep. Five, four, three, two. Katie passes. That's two strikes for Katie. All right. Run. Travis? Torchic. That is correct. Katie? I know it is. Your last chance at points here. There are five remaining answers. Name a fire Pokemon, Pokemon would bite me in the ass. <laughs> name a fire Pokemon, Katie. Come on. <laughs> Just name <laughs> a fire Pokemon at this name point. Name a fire one. Name a Pokemon. <laughs> name a Pokemon. Name Pokemon. Uh, uh, I can think of a bunch of water ones and some uh, hypno ones and uh, <laughs> some rock ones. And uh, five, four, three. Onyx. Two. Uh, that <laughs> is that is, even a Pokemon? That is a Pokemon. Very you, good. That's very it's good. It's a fire one, though. Uh, that's no, it's Earth not. One. That is one of Horny Brock's Pokemon. Um, mm -hmm. Good, good try. Travis, you have uh, the floor until you get three wrong or get the remaining five. Um, Tepig. Uh, correct. Um, why am I blanking on the one in Sword and Shield for some reason? Like, I feel like I know them. I'm trying to think of their names. Give me one second. Uh, Link and Carbon in the chat are just crushing it. There's the <laughs> one that it's a little fox. Del Fox is the bigger one. Is it Fenix or Fennec? I don't know how to say it. What is your final answer? You gotta pick one, dude. Fen Fenix. I don't know. Uh, that is incorrect. Uh, it's close to that though, or something. Um, and then there is, uh, shoot. Oh, Score Bunny. Uh, that is correct. And then <laughs> Pokemon to <laughs> ludicrous. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then uh, what's in uh, said Tepic? That's black and white. What's in Cinna? What's in the you diamond have three pearl? remaining answers you can get. Yeah, there's a diamond pearl one that I'm blanking on for some reason. Wow. Carbon says at a certain point Nintendo gave up with the names. <laughs> <laughs> they honestly did. Gore Bunny is a Gore bunny, bunny that uh, <laughs> like plays soccer because this is in the UK, and so score, as in scorch, but it's also a bunny and Maybe also a scoring. Sandcastle one, sandcastles, really. Um, what is that? Why am I blank? I'm straight up blanking on. Uh, oh, there's um uh the. Little one of like Infernape. Um, that's what I'm thinking. Five, of. It's a monkey. Four, uh, 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 three, uh, two, one. I don't remember. Okay, that's your second Man strike. Mankey? I'm gonna Is give Mankey you the, the baby Inferno. No, Mankey's a different monkey, but oh. it's um, you have one more chance. <laughs> so I'm gonna let you take another 10 seconds and see if you can figure it out. Shoot, um, it's like you have five points, there are three remaining. Um, five, four, three, two. I can't one. remember. All right. Uh, Where are they? Travis got five points there. Uh, oh big, big points for Travis. Um, yeah. Here are the eight of them uh, Charmander, Cyndaquil, Torchic, Chimchar, Chimchar Tepig, yes. Fennekin, Litten, and Scorbunny. See? 
I was kind of close on Fennekin. I just didn't know exactly what it was. And I haven't played Sun and Moon, so I forgot about Lit Litten, even though I remembered uh, the bigger one, Incineroar. So with You're that... Right. Gosh, um, Charmander was the only one that I was going I to I should have let you just have Charmander. <laughs> oh, thanks. Travis I didn't pulls know ahead. How much... Go ahead, Travis. I'm sorry. I was going to say, I didn't know how much Katie remembered from, po from Pokemon Go. <laughs> Uh, Travis pulled ahead. It is now 6-0, but Katie, do not worry. There are rounds that are worth many more points, so you have ample opportunity to catch up. We are entering Excellent. round three, which I'm calling Metacritic Critic. So in this one, I'm going to give you a set of games, in this case, five games from a particular year, and what I want you to do on your piece of paper that's sitting in front of you, I want you to write down the Metacritic score that you believe that this game has hit. Okay, so whoever is closest gets the point, basically? Whoever is closest gets the two points, and in the case of a tie, the player who is under the score wins. Metacritic okay. is okay. out of Okay, so Price is Right style. Uh, uh, Metacritic is out of 100. Oh, and is there <laughs> decimals? There is no decimals. These no, are, it's these just are like, whole numbers. Like 82 or 76, just, like the just, end, that's it. I don't want to be a Dumbo that's like, 86.6, and I'm like... So if the answer is 70... And Katie says 69. Nice. And Travis says 71. Uh, it's Katie that wins because she's under. Okay. And each one of these is worth, uh, Link said nice as well. Uh, each one of these is worth two points. So let us get started okay. with the year of all five of these games. The year is 2002. Okay. We were very young. Okay. The yes. first game that we're going to uh, talk about the Metacritic score for is State of Emergency on the PlayStation 2. What is this? Uh, this was a game developed by Rockstar. It's a Rockstar game. Where you had to go into a mall and kill people. <laughs> Jake Deck is like, oh God. <laughs> Jacob Decker Why, did from... did he play it? Uh, I don't know if Jake would have played it. He needs to fill us in. Yeah, Link. Um... Uh, Shane okay. says hello, Katie and Travis. Hi, Shane. Hello. And Carbon says, I wasn't alive. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't alive? There's no way. Oh, God. He's probably yeah, like no, a 2003. No way. What? That's possible. Katie, we're people, so old, people were dude. born after, after 1989. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, Jake okay, says, I've not played it, but I'll never forget that box art. Do so I need to show you my number. Yeah. So do yeah. both of you have your numbers ready? I do, I do. Okay, so what I want y'all to do is to take your your number and put it up. Okay, ready? Yep. And go. Travis says 47, and Katie says 62. So hold it up. Oh, oh, oh. Yep. Keep it held. And the is correct answer is 71. Ooh, Katie really? gets the first two points. I really judged a book by its cover there. <laughs> All right, Katie, so you get two points. All right, the next game that we have to talk about is Dead to Rights. What are these titles? Um, Let me write down these points. Dead to Rights, which is a Namco game that I believe had two sequels. Jake, Jake says, this game was rad. Yeah, and Link says, okay. where yeah, are yeah, you finding these? That was a game. Um, right. So then I got a number. But also, uh, Link says, where are you finding these? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. these titles are State yeah, of Emergency them. and Dead to Rights. Knowing Jacob, mine. he's probably been sitting on these for a while, says Shane. Yeah. <laughs> it, that's accurate. Um, all right. Do both of y'all have your, uh, your numbers ready? Yes, yep. sir. Okay. Uh, put them up on three. One, two, three. Travis says 82. Katie says 71. 82? Yeah, it got two sequels or something. It got two sequels. So? A lot of things got two sequels. The <gasps> answer is 73. No. Katie is yes. the winner again. <laughs> so Katie's at four points from this round. Like I said, Katie's going to catch up. The next game we have is Hurdy Gurdy. <laughs> what? <laughs> the game is called Hurdy Gurdy. This is an terrible. this is an early this would have been an early PlayStation 2 game. Hydos. Oh, Interesting. Carbon says that's a musical instrument. 
<laughs> Hurdy gurdy. All right, I guessed. This is pure guesswork right now. That's half the fun is you have no idea okay. what this game is. I got I it. Know. It's real rough. All right. What uh, do y'all say? Travis, show me a number. 40. Katie says 64. 40? Judging me like I have a clue. What? 69 is the answer. Yes. Nice. <laughs> Katie gets her sixth point. How many here. games? 40. I don't know. They all look really bad, but I'm judging it based <laughs> on cover art only. Every, everyone in the chat says nice. nice. Um, uh, Jake says, looks Jimmy Neutron inspired. That's, it <laughs> that's does. pretty yeah. accurate. Yeah. Um, Kingdom Hearts. The original mm. Kingdom Hearts. Ooh. I don't know. I feel like it's probably terrible. <laughs> probably real bad. No. But oh, Sora has tricky. a blade. It's a key. Probably, probably not bad. Uh, Link says, this is what I was playing instead of everything else. I guessed a number. Okay, I got a number. Katie, you ready? Yep. All right, show them. Travis says 89 and Katie go a little higher. 89? Sorry. Uh, 75. Come on, Jacob, give me a score that I want. 85, Travis wins. What? Oh, wait, no, 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 first. I'm under. No, it's whoever's closer but under. These are not prices Right rules. Oh, so I get a point. Oh, yep, Travis gets a point. Rules. It's yes. whoever okay, is closer, okay, okay. but the tiebreaker is whoever's under. Gotcha. Okay. How many okay. points did I get for that? Uh, you get two points. So, two uh, points? so I've gotten six, and he's gotten two. So we're at eight and six. No, I'm at. I'm at. You're at eight. Uh, in at this eight, round, yeah, yeah. at this round, you're two, oh, and Katie okay, is six. Yeah. Total is eight, six, Travis. Our final okay, game six. in this round is a game called Sneakers. <laughs> It's a oh. Toys R Us exclusive. This is a fun one to explain because this is a Toys R Us exclusive game uh, that was published by Microsoft Game Studios. Toys R Us exclusive. That was the thing. Uh, for anyone in the chat who's wondering what this is, I implore you to watch the trailer after this show is done. Okay. Katie has her answer. Travis, do you have your answer? Yes, I don't have much faith in Toys R Us exclusives. All right, uh, Katie, show me your answer first. 61, Travis? I'm guessing this failed. 28. Travis 28? got it right on. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> what? 28? Travis got it right on. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh my god! Oh my uh, god! <laughs> uh, twenty-eight. I didn't know it was possible to get a twenty-eight. Lewis, uh, Lewis, lukewarm Lewis numbers. says, lukewarm Lewis says, are these real games? And Jake says, holy shit, GG Travis. I can't believe oh that my happened. God. Wow. Like uh, not. I, as soon as I saw the Toys R Us exclusive, I'm like, this thing is terrible. Oh, I thought it would be low, but I thought it'd be like maybe like high fifties. Yeah. yeah, and then I just I was like, like, how many things I scored mean, that low? Literally, I know. Shane That's says how... you can buy this game right now for five ninety nine. Wow. You can still pay for that it? much, huh? Yeah. Yeah. A whole five ninety nine. A whole five ninety nine. So uh now in this round, after round three, um, we are at ten points for Travis and eight. Uh, sorry, six points for Katie. So ten Ooh. to six for Travis. Uh, right. We are now entering round four, y'all. This is called Box Art Blitz. Okay. So with Box Art Blitz, I'm going to show you a very small segment of a box art from a video game, and your job is to tell me the name of that video game. Ooh. There are five of them, and each one of these answers is worth two points. Are we buzzing okay. in first? Whoever you gets are, first? Yes, you are buzzing in with your names. Whoever uh, okay. gets their name out first is the one that gets to guess first. Okay. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Here we go with the first piece of box art. If you know Katie. it in the chat, uh, say it. Katie, go ahead. I don't know it, but I'm going to take a shot and say Mass Effect. That is not the correct answer. Uh, Link, you got it. Shit. Travis, this one's for you. 
Hmm. I see a gun. Lewis got I it. I see a tree. I see some lights. What could this be? Okay, there's got to be a timer on this, right? Yeah, Five. I'm sure counting me down. Four. <laughs> that's a person on a, on Three, a thing. Two. One. Uh, I don't know. You don't know? Can I just say what my second guess was? Yes, you may. Yeah. Halo? That's the correct answer, Katie. Oh, damn. <laughs> I, was, I, I was like, it's either Mass Effect or Halo. Mass Effect or Halo. And fuck. You should have went with your gut. <laughs> ah, my gut was Mass Effect, but your damn gut. it. All right. Are y'all ready for the second? Yes. Fuck. All right. Yes. Here we go. Number two. Uh, Think about what this is. Um, like what am I looking at? <laughs> if anyone in the chat knows, light up the chat. Let us know. Travis. Travis, yes. What do you say? Do I have to be specific or can I say like Mega I Man? Be specific. No, no, please. You have to be specific. <laughs> okay. Um, Mega Man X. Uh, incorrect. Mm. Uh, no one in the chat has gotten it yet. Oh shit! Well then, I'm not. I'm not gonna get it then. Like, if the crowd it? hasn't gotten it, um, five, four, three, two, one. I don't know. Uh, what is it? This is Super Mario Kart on the Super Nintendo. Where was what? this piece? Uh, that was right down here in the Koopa's yellow cart. Oh my god! See, I was like, it looks oh. like machinery ishiness. Yeah, so, I thought it was like more Metroidy than like Super Mario. <laughs> That's why I was like, I couldn't think Met. I didn't think Metroid, but I was like, yeah. maybe like Roboty. The the yeah. chat is freaking out because I I feel like they think this was a bit of a mean one. <laughs> <laughs> it is a mean one. That's a little bit okay. of a mean one. All right, thank you. you mean. Number Thank three. You, I love you, chat. Okay. Okay. Um. I don't have the picture yet. Oh shit. Uh. Oh. Oh. Travis. Uh, Katie. Katie. Fuck. Uh. I heard Travis first. Um. It's. Uh. Which one? Um. I'm gonna say, Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, incorrect. Oh shit. Um, Luke, not I quite. Don't know, I don't know which one. Jake got it. I can't tell if. Okay, that's a like a blaster. So it's gonna be. It's not gonna be like a Jedi Knight one. I don't think it's gonna be like a. Uh shit. Uh, I don't know how far far back you're going. Okay, that's like an O. <laughs> Five, Shit. four. I'm so wrong, but I'll just guess one. three. Dark forces. It's not incorrect. Um, Fuck. Jake got it in the chat. It is Star Wars Battlefront, the original from oh. made by uh, uh, Pandemic. Is that the name? Yeah, Pandemic, a studio that is aptly named but no longer around. They made Mercenaries. Nice. They made. Um, did they make Wet? Uh, oh, they made a couple games and then got shut down. I think they got bought by EA and then shut down. Is. Yeah, no, my Star Wars nerd was like, I was like, that's like a that's a freaking Imperial blaster, but I don't know what game it is. Yeah, I was like, I know this is something, but I don't know where to even start with what picture it could be. We have two more. Here is the second to last one from Box Art Blitz. Ready? Okay. Hmm. What? Chat, let me know if you know this one. Uh, I feel like there's uh, there's stuff here. I'm just I know. I'm like, uh five. Four. Three. Two. 
one travis katie travis you go first i'll say maria got it oh god should i know this um there's snow there's people there's a building let's say five four three two i don't even know now i said my name and hope it's getting more time that i don't know and travis you're out katie do you want a shot okay this totally isn't it but the only thing i can think of based on the number of people and this like the setting is until dawn you are correct yeah oh my god uh well I'm done really well done oh so that was god. the uh that is this the, the bottom part of this hourglass here is those um eight oh. characters i'm very happy i got a real question right that was very good good job katie what is it 10 8 uh, it is 10 8 and we have one more <sighs> box art to show you and i will do so now Link got it. <laughs> hmm. Uh, like, what is this that I'm looking at here? <laughs> that was a great pull, Link. <laughs> I'm gonna... Uh, Five. Five. Uh, Four, three, two. Travis. Yep, Travis, go ahead. Let's say WarioWare. Uh, incorrect. Katie, do you want to take a shot? There's like a helmet and an ear and an eyebrow, and I don't know who that is. Five. I feel like it's too, it's very Nintendo, and therefore I don't know. Four. Almost like is this a baseball cap? Three. And glasses? Two. Pass. Uh, this <laughs> is a throwback, a Sonic Team game that came out <gasps> on the GameCube in, I believe, the early 2000s, early to mid-2000s. This one is Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. <laughs> oh, my God. Link Link got that one. So, like, good, good on you. Uh, Link's good. killing it. Yeah, I think Good Link job. has uh, more points than y'all, so I just wanted to throw that out there. <laughs> oh, but they combined. Yeah. Yep. Uh, no, I think I think more than more than ten. But uh, for now, uh, the score is ten to eight for Travis, uh, and we are moving into our uh, penultimate round. So after this one, we only have one round remaining. So okay. make sure to get your points in the bargain bin is a fun round where I've pulled the prices of five games from pricecharting.com, and I want you to guess the price of each game. Player like closest- Like currently? Yes, so currently. Like and I will describe, is it a loose game? Is it full game like in box, or is it brand new? In each case, you'll get the answer to that question. Okay. So How, again, US dollars, like US dollars. US dollars. So uh, we're writing down? Writing Again? down, and you can like use cents as well, like dollars and cents. Okay. Uh, okay. And if if somehow we're not doing prices right rules, even though I respect Bob Barker and Drew Carey very much, a fine CBS property, um, <laughs> I will um, whoever if there's a tie and you're like the same distance away, the person under the price wins. Okay. All right. So the first game that we're gonna go through here is a copy of NHL 07 from the Xbox 360. This is a complete version of the game, including disc, manual, and box. So like the, the case. So what I want you to do is tell me, do you think it's worth, you know, $3.99? Do you think it's worth $40.99? Do you think it's worth $41.62? Um, this website pulls in eBay prices from the entire interwebs and then puts them into one price. So give me the price that you think you could buy a copy of NHL 07 for the Xbox 360 today, including disc, manual, and game case. This is so hard because it could be either super cheap or it could be like weirdly astronomical for some unknown reason. 
Do y'all have your prices ready? I'm not going to comment on the NHL. I have my price. I feel like I, I have feel... more sports game knowledge than Travis. Yeah, this is not good for me. I'm guessing here. All right. Trish. Katie, are you it. ready? Yep. All right. Uh, Travis, show us yours first. I almost feel like I'm too high. Four ninety nine from Travis. Oh. Um, and Katie, what do you say? Eight sixty from Katie. So keep those keep those held up because oh, we're gonna move to a me. price here. Um, uh, it's Mike, in between. Uh, Gray in the chat says this is the first one with the skill stick, and he's correct. The price wow. is three dollars and eighty four cents. So that is two points yes. for Travis. Yes. All right. I even said I thought I was a little too high. Travis has two points. The second Woot. game in this round is Wario Land for the Virtual Boy. Mm. And again, this is complete in this. I wrote disc, but what I meant to say is cartridge, manual, and box. Wario Land for the Virtual Boy. What are you doing over there, Katie? Cheating? I got a number. No, my phone is on this side. Thank you okay, very good much. Job. Good job. All right. I trust you I both got, very, very much. So I got a number. Thank you. If anyone in the chat I got knows, a number. throw out some numbers. Um, Katie, I'm going to have you go first this time. I went high. Is that 2820? Yes. Okay. Uh, Travis. Yes, it is. I went even higher in assuming it's like you can't get this no more. Yeah. Ninety four ninety nine is the price from Travis. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm saying it's like super rare. Come on now. One oh four forty one <gasps> is the price. Yes. Oh. That is an expensive ass virtual boy game. I had a feeling. I just had a uh, feeling. I had a feeling. The MCA, sorry. <laughs> uh okay, oh, yeah. so Travis has four points this round. Katie has none. The third game we have up is Two Human on the Xbox 360. I don't even know what this is. This game has a fun story developed by Silicon Knights, uh, a company based in Kitchener, Ontario, um, who unsuccessfully sued Epic for Unreal Engine related follies. (laughs) Really? I believe that this, not this game, but their next game, they made an X Men game, had to be pulled from shelves. The X Men game came out. But it was the last thing they ever did. Yes. And I, I think they had to pull all new copies of the game off shelves. And that's fine because I was not happy about that game. So that's okay. Okay, I have a price. You have a price? Okay. Two. Katie, you have a price? Yeah. Uh, Travis, show us your price first. I'm going way down low here. 79 cents from Travis. Katie, what do you got? Did you say- 79 cents 79 cents yeah this is worthless uh katie says 1290 the price is 574 which means travis is closer (laughs) so travis has six points this round and katie has zero Um, (sighs) Is, is everything worth two uh everything in this round is worth two points oh shoot okay wow crushing me so I'm at what, 16? You are at 16. Yes. All right. He's like gloating. He's like, oh, am I only double your score? I know. Oh. Oh, how, many, how many points do I have? I don't know. <laughs> I actually didn't. <laughs> uh, our fourth game in this uh, round is oh, that's the tricky. Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt mm. combo cartridge. And again, this is a, uh, it includes, I, I wrote disc, but it's cartridge, manual, and box. Hmm. Katie, you need some points here. I I'm aware. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm gonna say I have a number. I have a number. Katie, show us yours first. Fuck. My my. Can you bring oh, it a little closer? Nice. I think I should have gone higher. Can you bring it closer? Yes. Uh, $2,190. I, I like Sh- that. I should have gone higher. Travis, Fuck. 
What do you think? I'm not nearly, I'm only 570. I kind of yes! like your answer better. $570. The correct yeah. answer is $8.10. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Great. Okay, so you heard none of what I said, and what I said was this stream is so powerful, and that price was so powerful <laughs> that it broke Streamlabs. Streamlabs broke, and now we are here. Um. So now, just to recap. Um. Oh man, my points are even gone. Dang. Okay, um, I had just written it down. It's eighteen to eight for Travis, and I wouldn't lie eight. about a thing like that because why would I? Yeah, I have eighteen here. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and the game that we are uh, guessing the price for is Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Huh? No. Nope. Super Smash Brothers on the N64. This one is really hard. I'm, you got, do you I'm have a number? Torn. Yeah, I do have a number. I'm just really torn. Oh, okay. Well, if you have a number. Yeah, I got a number. You said okay, the score was, um, what was it, Travis? 18 to 8. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Got my number. Do you want to see it? I do I want to see it. Let us start with Travis. I don't know. This is a hard one. I'm. Travis says eighty nine ninety nine. Oh, like, Katie. Like, so I repeated my same guess from the Duck Hunt saga, nice. and I went twenty one ninety. Uh, Katie, you are bad at prices because uh, this game Fuck. is one hundred dollars <laughs> and eighty cents. I one of them see, had to be super valuable. I kind of had a weird like, this isn't super cheap because people obviously want it, but also I feel like there's enough of them out there that the price can't be absolutely insane. So I was like, it's got to be like somewhere around like a, a normal game price. And I was like, okay, we'll go eighty nine ninety nine and kind of float around that middle that middle zone. So I okay. thought because it was the first Smash Bros that it was going to be like a big thing. I thought so too, not. but then I was like, I think there's enough copies out of there out there that God like there's not. It, like it's not like it's that needed, you know. Like the price hasn't skyrocketed. Here are my mm -hmm. Birdman hands for the final round, which is simply the bonus <laughs> round. Um, one question: bet as many of your points as you want. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you answer correctly, you win that many points. If you answer oh, incorrectly, you lose that many points. So the score being twenty to eight. Um. This could go one way, or we can make it spicy. <laughs> and Travis Wait. could put up or shut up and if prove I, his dominance. If I... Do I just say my wager amount right now? I don't so, even get to... Do I see the question first or no? Um, what I will do is I will give you the category. Oh, okay. I like that. Let me make sure here. Yeah. Um, the category for the bonus round is gaming hardware. Mm. So very much like um very much like double jeopardy or like final jeopardy rather. Mm -hmm. Um you cannot you cannot get a negative score, so you can only wager the points you have. Um but you can wager all of them. So Katie, if you want to wager 8 points, Travis, if you want to wager 20 points, you totally can. Um one question what I want you to do is write down your wager. Just think about like jeopardy, right? Answer yeah. Yeah bet so give In me your point bet on the bottom track. one sheet of paper give me your bet okay. and then i'm going to give you the question and then um from there you're going to give me an answer okay am i going to show you my bet it is written it is written and i trust y'all both all right Thank you. i circled it okay are y'all ready for the question yes all right the question for the bonus round is as follows the Wii Zapper is a gun shell peripheral for the Wii Remote. What was the pack-in game included in the box? Do I say my name? Uh, no, you write your answer down. Oh. Link got it. <clears throat> the Wii Zapper is a gun shell peripheral for the Wii Remote. 
what was the pack-in game included in the box? And I'm going to uh, sing a song that is will not get us DMCA'd. This is the worst do, song. Do, 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 do. Uh, 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 uh. Don't worry. You will not get DMCA'd for this song. No, definitely not. No one has sang this song. No one owns the rights to and if they did they wouldn't claim it they would say no it's fine no one's claiming this song is their own it's not mine i'm gonna pretend it's not mine a single person i'm getting stops from the chat so i guess i should just let you guys answer your question and do both of y'all have your answers yes all right uh katie you are not leading uh so what i would like you to do first is to give us your answer and also show us the amount of points you wagered. I don't know if this is a Wii game or a Wii U game. Did you write it down? I did. Okay, good. But it's my guess. I feel like it's wrong. But I just I picked it I picked a game. I picked Splatoon. That is incorrect. Yeah. <laughs> Katie, how many points did you wager? I wagered my eight points. Oh no, she wagered all her points. Oh well, no. yeah, of course. Uh, Travis, uh, you don't need to do anything, but we are going to run you through the treadmill anyway, and you tell me, what is the answer to this question? I'm quite sure it's Link's crossbow training. That's the correct answer. <laughs> I knew I wasn't going to get that. <laughs> uh, how many points did you wager, Travis? I wagered 12 points wow! so that if I lost and Katie also lost and she didn't wager anything, we would have tied. Aw, you're so nice. This is the most wholesome shit that you'll ever find on the internet. <laughs> you fucking Nintendo boy, you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. So uh, we end, uh, Link says he went for the content and boy, did you content the heck out of that one. My friends, mm -hmm. that is the end of the first episode of Video Game Trivia. Travis is our champion, uh, winning 32 points to zero. Congratulations, Travis, on being, as Carbon quoted Katie saying in the chat, you fucking Nintendo boy, you. You fucking ah. Nintendo boy. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I will continue my reign as champion. Do you have a speech for necessary. us? Do you have a speech prepared? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally do. Um... You know, I will be a fair a fair king. Um, <laughs> you will be a fair king. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> I left the call. <laughs> Thirty-two and zero. I'm very bad. There. I left the call. You really, you didn't have to. Thirty-two and zero. I right? left the call. I left the call. For the score. Boy, I'm tech. Hey, technology this time. I'm sure people are like, he left the call. What a moron. Um, <laughs> Um, thank you both for playing. Uh, I'm going to do this again. Uh, technology is a challenge always. So thank you for sticking with us. Uh, we figured it out. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to do a quick reset and then we are going to be joined by a few special guests, including <laughs> Shane said, the last thing I heard was I will be a fair King and then disconnected. Uh, <laughs> we're going to be joined by, uh, Luke and Claire from the Luke Worms games, the Luke warm games podcast, as well as my friend, Mike. And we are going to play some Jackbox. If y'all want to kick it and stick around and play with us, you are more than welcome to, um, stick around. We'll be back in five. Yeah. 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 Bye. Yeah. I wish I had music where I could just like crank up the music, but. Should I sing again? No, no.